TTC was born from a love story, from a partnership and bond that has lasted nearly seven decades and counting. This, in fact, is the story of my parents, who, as you will hear, from the day they met, knew that they belonged together. As a team, they had a dream to create the finest experiences in hospitality and travel. A dream that did indeed come true and is what stands today as the incredible company of 42 exceptional brands that includes the one that is closest to my heart, our luxury hotel collection, Red Carnation. This part of our 100-year story begins in July 1952, just after my parents had met for the very first time. My mother had a tennis tournament in Durban and my father happened to be driving down with some friends and offered for her to join them for the weekend. On the evening of the 5th of July is where their love story truly began. On that night, my father invited my mother for dinner at the most talked about hotel in Durban, the Oyster Box, which my mother gladly accepted. Located on the Umschlange Rocks, the hotel has been around for as long as anyone can remember. The original cottage was called the Oyster Lodge, built in 1863, and over the years was a tea garden, a restaurant, and then in 1952, on the site next to what became the iconic lighthouse, a hotel. At the time, it was the must place to eat, dine and stay. My father arranged to sit at the best table in the restaurant, number five, which is still there to this day. Having grown up in the hotel industry and with many dreams of where his hotelier career would take him, my father read extensively about the newest tastes and trends. Keen to impress at this fine establishment, he asked my mother if she'd like to try the hotel specialty, an oyster, something she had never eaten before. For anyone who knows my mother, her reaction was not quite what one would expect from her. She promptly spat it on the floor. She admits now that it wasn't very ladylike but this incident must have left an impression on my father. It was from this night on they were destined to be together and have since then shared an incredible passion for food, for experimenting with tastes and flavors, and which is reflected throughout our unique menus in our hotels and river ships. She also now loves oysters. It was later on, on this magical night, sitting on a wooden fence overlooking the Indian Ocean, my father shared his dreams with my mother about his passion for food, his vision in hospitality, which included that one day he would own this very hotel and make it the best in South Africa. As he made this prediction, he duly fell backwards off the fence, a sign perhaps. More importantly, the incident made a noble impression on my mother. The following day, while heading home, all packed into a small Vauxhall car, my father made his second prediction of the weekend when he told his friends he knew that my mother was the woman he wanted to spend the rest of his life with, all due to this weekend where the spark happened because of the evening at the Oyster Box Hotel. My father is a man of his word, always has been, and on the 7th of March, 1954, he married my mother. Many years later, in June 2006, the second part of his prediction came true, as the Oyster Box Hotel came up for sale, with the owners wanting to sell it to a family who would preserve its legacy and restore it to its former glory, which my father promised to do. Led by my mother and my sister Tony, the hotel was lovingly and meticulously rebuilt over two years painstakingly restored with elegance, care, passion, and a pledge to the people of the area to create the best hotel in South Africa, just as my father had promised. On the 29th of September, 2009, this culminated with the grand opening by King Goodwill Zuelathini of the Zulu Nation. The oyster box was restored to its glory once again. And it is this, that is our greatest love story. 
as if it wasn't for this destined weekend in Durban. Who knows what might have been? From what started as a hope and a dream nearly 70 years ago today, this hotel stands as a testimony, not only about my parents' love story, but as an icon to the best of service and quality and hospitality across the world. Even more importantly, it is a symbol of the love that my family has for South Africa, the country where TTC's legacy all began, and a pillar to all that TTC stands for today and in our future.